Sure, jellyfish look pretty serene, but we all know the evils that come from a run-in with those tentacles. With over 200 diverse species in temperate and tropical regions around the globe, these primitive creatures have been around for 6 million years of evolutionary history. And while they might not have a brain, heart, or much of a social life, jellyfish are masters of chemistry. They use photoreceptor proteins to sense light, bioluminescent proteins to produce light, and of course, toxins to knock the living daylights out of their prey and predators. You all know the rumor that peeing on a jellyfish sting can make the pain go away, but does this icky old wives tale stand up to science? Ah, to pee or not to pee, that is the question. If you're taking a trip to the beach, rest assured jellyfish will not seek you out. These guys only sting if you run into them, and it's thanks to their tentacles. They're covered in stinging cells called nidocytes, which they've evolved to paralyze prey and deter predators. That's why some jellyfish, like these moon jellies, have stings so weak humans can't even feel them. But the tasty microscopic zooplankton they eat certainly can. Nidocytes compact with toxin-filled needle-like organelles called nematocysts, which sting involuntarily as soon as prey, predators, or innocent bystanders brush up against them. Essentially, jellyfish are kind of like Kyle at a crowded Real Big Fish concert. He's not trying to bother you, but you might end up as collateral damage when he gets his groove on. Anyway. Depending on the species, bumping into a jellyfish can leave you with millions of nematocysts on your skin. Normally, these organelles are coiled like a garden hose, but when activated by the pressure of touch, they straighten out into nano syringes and inject you with porn toxins. Porns are bad news because these proteins poke holes into your cells, causing major inflammation and, with it, major pain. From the moment of contact to the injection of porins, the whole process takes only about 11 milliseconds, making it one of the fastest biomechanical processes scientists have observed in the animal kingdom. With millions of these spear-like organelles injecting you with toxins, it's no wonder people do almost anything to ease the pain. Hence, rumors like this get started. You're gonna have to pee on it. The thinking here is that the force of the stream washes away any leftover nematocysts that have yet to be triggered by touch and the urine's acidity supposedly denatures porn proteins. So let's say you're floating in the ocean this summer and a jellyfish thing leaves you reeling in pain. Should you pee on it? No, do not do that. The truth is, you're in for a whole world of hurt if you go with your number one choice. While it's true you want to remove the excess nematocyst from your skin, peeing on a jellyfish thing will only amplify that issue thanks to osmosis. The nematocysts that linger on your skin after a jellyfish sting are acclimated to a highly concentrated saline environment, so when your unconcentrated urine hits them, H2O is going to force its way into the cells to achieve a balance. This extra pressure is just what the nematocysts need to fire, injecting you with a brand new round of toxins. Ouch. The old wives' tale is correct that an acidic solution might neutralize some of the toxins, but the amount of acid you're looking for just isn't in urine. While your pee is acidic, usually with a pH around 6, that isn't acidic enough to denature porins and prevent them from hole-punching your cells. And the same thing goes for rinsing with fresh water, too. So if urine and water doesn't work, what is the gold standard of sting treatments? Your best bet is to find a safe, jelly-free area in the same body of water where you were stung and rinse the affected area with salt water. This will wash away nematocysts on your skin without adding any extra pressure, causing them to fire. Once you leave the ocean, try rinsing the affected area with vinegar, also known as acetic acid. This could potentially prevent any further nematocysts from firing venom into your skin, but it depends on the type of sting since different jellies have different toxins. If you're still feeling the burn, unfortunately, the best medicine may just be to wait it out for your body to clear the toxin, at least for less venomous jellyfish. But more venomous jellyfish are a totally different story. For example, box jellyfish, just one of Australia's many deadly creepy crawlers that are trying to kill you, sing with cardiotoxins that are capable of stopping your heart. So when in doubt, call an EMS. Never encountered a jelly in the wild? Well, your chances may be improving. Jellyfish thrive in warmer climates where their plankton food sources thrive. Studies show as the world gets warmer, blooms of jellyfish may be sprouting up more frequently than they once were. So when the world ends, due to global warming, all that will be left will be share, cockroaches, and jellyfish. Once you turn back time to catch up on some reaction summer essentials, check out which body of water is okay to pee in and why fun in the sun might be more carcinogenic than you'd hoped. We want to give a special thanks to San Francisco's Aquarium of the Bay for letting us film their beautiful jellyfish. Thumbs up and subscribe on your way out, and hey, thanks for watching.